everyone, it's me, YD28. Welcome back to my channel, The Sims 2 Let's Play Desiderata Valley Round 2. And we're back with the Aspart family. I just want to thank you guys so very much for your enthusiasm and your excitement for this series. I'm so excited as well. I think all of these families are super interesting, so dramatic, and I think they're going to be a ton of fun. Uh, so you guys had suggestions for... Um, what kind of pet we should get, um, as well as the order for, or what Lewis should wish for from the genie. Um, and a lot of you said he should wish to bring back his late wife. Um, Victor's off to work today. Um, his late wife, but I saw one of you mention that you had him wish for his wife to return, and that she came back as a zombie. And I'm just like, I'd, I'm worried about that. I'm, I'm very, very worried about that. Um, so I'm kind of thinking, oh, but I think they come back as a zombie if your aspiration is, like, below gold. So I think we'll be okay. Uh, the other thing I forgot to do, which we're going to do right now, is I forgot to look at the stories because I am... I'm, I forget. I forget these things. So um, let's just uh, scroll through right now. So we got here, uh, looks like the family's just hanging around shortly after Pauline was born. And again, kind of standing around while Lewis plays the piano and they're all hanging around Pauline. Um, there's a picture of... What's her name? <laughs> What's her name sewing while Pauline is drawing? Even though she doesn't even like sewing, I'm kind of considering getting rid of the sewing machine. Um, here's the boys working on the car. Here's Pauline giving, or yeah, she's giving Pauline a dirty bottle. So that's just how much of a good mother she is. Um, and then Lewis found the genie. So we're going to add that in. Can this go? Um, oh my god. Lewis found a genie. Okay. That's, that's our life right now. So um, it is about 7 o'clock. We're going to be getting ready to get uh, get up. Um, Elizabeth. Elizabeth has today off, and Victor, Victor went to work. Um, so the two of them, she's a little happy that they uh, aren't going to see each other today. Um, he has Thursday. So Thursday's when they're home alone together, and I think that's kind of when he's wanting to, you know, try for a baby because uh, he comes home tired and um, she comes home from work tired and then she has excuses sort of thing so she's trying to uh, you know prolong that so she's hopefully going to convince Victor not to have another baby she's fine with just Pauline totally totally fine with just Pauline um, by the way Pauline um, Pauline's hobby suddenly became cuisine as well so I'm kind of thinking um, she would be the same as Victor and be a little more um a little bit into family and uh cooking and that maybe she wants to um do baking and things like that so uh but what we're gonna focus on today is uh is Lewis getting his wishes to the genie so let's just make sure his needs are all up there and he does want to work on his car so we'll have him do that a little bit we're going to work on the engine that's important do you work on the engine first or the outside? I think the engine. I think you want a good engine and then you cover it up with loveliness. So we'll go ahead and work on that. Let's just speed up a smidgen. Um, Elizabeth does need to, um, to, oh, I don't think we have a maid. So let's go ahead and after her bubble bath, she's going to uh, get a maid. Oh, our phones are ringing. No, Victor's not available to talk Julian. Let's go ahead and call service and get ourselves that maid. We're also going to need a nanny to track our schedule so that, you know, she sees. Uh, we do want to sew a project, even though we're really not into that. Um, but she's going to come just make herself a bowl of cereal to eat. Um, Lewis is doing pretty darn okay. Um, he did meet some... Um, people over the, as we played the part, um, he's not very close to Julian Cook, uh, but he got a little closer to Daniel Bell, um, and he did meet John Mole and, um, Marcel Jacques, so that happened. Uh, so yeah, working on the engine. We seem to be in a pretty 
decent mood. We got ourselves Christy and Nyada. We got ourselves some bills. Some bills to pay. We should also probably hire a gardener or else our flowers are going to go. Oh, and if you didn't notice, hello. <coughs> I gave Elizabeth a bit of a makeover. Just some makeup and um, a little bit of a more summery outfit. Something that wasn't so drab looking. <laughs> um, she looks a little more uh, youthful and um, professional and, you know, overall just doing doing her doing her um i got her a couple outfits honestly i really don't find the men's clothes all that great i bought victor some new clothes but i like what he's wearing right now uh, i think it suits him very well what elizabeth was wearing didn't suit her all that much um in my opinion so uh i kind of wanted to uh leave victor as he is for now and then maybe in the winter time i will change his outfit again um, so we're going to make sure Elizabeth, or Pauline, uh, gets a little bit of potty training in. That would be important. Elizabeth is, you know, not entirely cold-hearted and, uh, everything. She does want her daughter to, you know, learn the basics of life, you know, not to pee her pants. Um, so she's gonna do that, and then I do need her to practice her speech. Okay, cool. So they're all taken care of right now. So we have gold aspiration right now. We're going to come up here. We're going to summon our genie. Because I do want us to bring back our late wife. And I hope she doesn't turn into a zombie. <sighs> Please and thank you. Or maybe we should do peace of mind first. And then... Oh... Yeah, we're going to do peace of mind first, uh, and then we'll be okay to um, resurrect our wife. What did that do for me? I, I don't feel any different. I, I don't feel any different. Do we have peace of mind? Are we are we happy? Um mm -mm. Oh, there we go. There we go. I think we're feeling a lot better now. Okay. So maybe we can wish for our wife now. So let's see if we can resurrect. Oh my Lord Jesus. What's our, what's our wife's name? What's our wife's name? Is it Noriko? Noriko Asper, right? Okay. Okay. Noriko Asper. And she's right here. Let's come ask if he can resurrect her. Let's see what happens. Oh my god. Hey, come back. Oh god damn it. Okay, summon the genie. Okay, res resurrect Noriko. Okay. Oh, yay! She's back! Oh my god, and we're going to give her a big... Oh my god, oh my god. Oh my god, but... Oh my god, but we just resurrected you from the dead and you don't love me? Oh, oh my god. Okay, so he oh my god, she's only at 10. <gasps> oh no. Okay, and then the last one I want us to have is a long life, but maybe I should hold off on that and um I'll wait until he's uh a little older and then we will um let's dismiss him. Bye-bye. <gasps> Oh, well, she gave us a kiss. Okay, cool. So let's take a look at Noriko really, really quickly before we continue. She is... Uh, she's cute! She's adorable. Um, 
Okay, she is a popularity aspiration. She wanted to become a general. Uh, she only knows her family right now, which, you know, just there's her. She lost all of her skills points, and she actually lost all of her memories. She only remembers that she fell in love with Lewis. Uh, but she loves nature, so we could get her to do some gardening and things like that. Um, and she has 15,000 points. We're just going to give her her things right now and maybe her needs. And, uh, cool. Okay. So Noriko's back. Hello. Welcome, welcome, welcome. So we got ourselves peace of mind and um, everything. She does not know how to cook or do anything anything right now so she's going to come over here actually and um, study some cooking that would be good uh, Elizabeth got her two mechan or two charisma points so she's feeling a lot better Victor's back and he went straight to bed because he's exhausted uh, which is fine um, Pauline is here she's chilling she's ha pretty happy she's been getting all of her points she's like who the heck are you lady I don't really know you. Uh, she kind of knows her um, Lewis is doing the smussel. He is just in such a great mood. Uh, and then I think he's going to come back out here, work on his engine a little bit. Uh, Noriko is steadying up her cooking. Um, and Elizabeth is playing the piano. Okay, cool. So um, she's got Noriko here. Noriko is her step or her mother in law, right? Um, I don't know why they don't become family when they're married. Like, they honestly should in The Sims 2. I don't know. So she's pretty happy to uh, see her her mother-in-law. I mean, that's pretty pretty darn awesome. Uh, I think she's going to, Elizabeth is going to actually um, make dinner in a little bit. She does want to buy a car, buy a sculpture, buy a more expensive sink. But her daughter's here, so let's try and spend some time with her. Um, we do need to spend some time with her. Uh, she's actually pretty hungry and sleepy, so we'll play with her a little bit. And Noriko's working on her cooking skills so she can hopefully make us dinner in a little bit. Because Elizabeth, she just doesn't really like cooking and things like that. Uh, okay, let's go ahead and feed Pauline. There you go, darling. And uh, I don't know why uh, Lewis is taking a bath in our bathroom. Whatever. Whatever. Okay, here we go. What level are we at? We're only a level one. Okay. You, you keep going, girl. You keep going. We're just st standing here watching her. Uh, okay. All done. Yes. Put her in her crib. And that's exactly what I want you to do. Uh, Victor will wake up now. He needs to actually come watch some TV. And we will... Uh, I think we'll come watch TV with Victor. I think that'll be a nice thing. She wants to, uh, oh my lord, put some pants on. Change into your everyday. How about we watch a movie? We'll watch a drama. And then we can, uh, we can join. Okay, cool. Noriko has two levels now. She's going to come in here. She's going to serve mac and cheese for dinner. He's thinking about their engagement. I don't know what's up. Oh my gosh, we were watching a movie. Elizabeth's like, I'm too hungry for this. and I, I need some fun. Like, when she gets hungry, she just, like, lays on the couch, like, feed me now. I am starving. Hurry up and feed me peasants. <laughs> That's Elizabeth's voice. Uh, Pauline ages up in two whole days. Victor's sitting here, like, he just loves his family oh so much, and he just wants, you know, a whole, another child. He just wants another child so, so bad. But Noriko's back, and we've, like, been totally ignoring her, but she's gonna make dinner, and we're going to stop stuffing your face. You're such a fatty. Go sit. If you're blocking the way. Okay, we're all going to come here and sit and... Okay, I guess we're sitting over here instead. Okay, you can start eating. And Lewis can start eating. 
and Nariko, Nariko decided to sit and eat over there. How about you come eat this one, darling? Oh my god. There we go. Now we're talking to everyone. We're getting to know one another. Having a good old family dinner with our deceased mother who came back from the dead. Totally normal. Don't even, don't even worry about it, guys. Don't even worry about it. But I'm actually very glad she's back and that she's not a zombie. Like, uh, and let me just check his memories. Um, he resurrected Noriko, but then we lost each other as best friends, and so he's really, really sad about that. We do need to get their relationships up um, so that they can sleep in the same bed. Uh, we are only at 16. Uh, relationship with him so uh, Elizabeth she's actually going to head to bed really really soon after this because she needs to sleep and she doesn't want Victor to get any ideas about about um, trying for a baby tonight or anything like that so Noriko she does need to pee pee um, and I think these two will actually come over here Can you leave the child alone and just go here? And we want to gossip, we want to chat, we want to dance together, joke, admire, give her a hug. What's going on? Oh my god, the baby is going to pee her pants. Oh my god, she already did. God damn. Damn it, Victor. I thought I asked you to potty train her. Okay, so they're talking to each other. No big deal. Uh, okay, you're fine. Okay, you're fine. Just put her down and go to bed. She wants to stay up and just party all night long. So we're, we're dancing. We're having a good time. Apparently we're friends now, so this is very good. Very good. Okay, a little a joke with him. Hug him. Family kiss. Family kiss? Oh, because we're married. There you go. Okay, cool. Can we... S oh, his bed is in the center of the room. I can't have that. We can't have that. You need to share the bedroom. Okay, you don't need a dresser or this light. Well, actually, I think, I think you need the light. <laughs> uh... <coughs> We'll just put in a, uh, a ceiling light. No big deal. Okay, there we go. Okay, go to bed. Go to bed. They wear matching pajamas. Are you kidding me? Oh, okay, cool. So it's one in the morning. We're going to go ahead and skip until morning time. Uh, I will see you guys then. And good morning, guys. So we are getting ready for our day. Elizabeth is eating some leftover mac and cheese. Uh, Victor is studying his cleaning skill point because I want him to get that before going to work so that we can hopefully get promoted. Um, we're also going to call and uh, cancel our nanny because we have Noriko here who can take care of Pauline for us. Um, and Pauline just went to bed and she actually does need to wake up now. So we're going to dress Pauline in her every day. Elizabeth, honey, you can just leave her and go here. Uh, you know, Noriko's going to come get Miss uh, Pauline. No big deal. And then we're going to potty train her and feed her. And it's going to be great fun. Pauline's excited to have her grandma back. She's like, Grandma, I thought you died, man. I thought you died. But it is Pauline's birthday today, so she will be aging into a child next part, which is super exciting. Uh, I love birthday parties. Cool. So pee, 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 pee. And uh, Elizabeth should be... Oh, she's going to be going to work shortly. Uh, she should also hopefully get promoted. So I'm aiming for that. Uh, let's place Pauline in the chair, clean up the bowl... Place Pauline in chair. Okay, can you place Pauline in chair, please? Okay, cool. And then we're going to go ahead and feed her. No, you jerk. Put her back. Yeah. God damn it. 
Okay, now go away. Go work on your car or something. Goodness gracious. Where's this food? Serve Pauline food. And we can just clean this up. There you go. There you go. Okay, cool. We also want to throw a party right now, but I don't know if we knew anyone else before um, before we passed away. Should we look at our family tree? We had Kumiko Kimura and Jiro Kimura. Yeah, I think uh, I think she's Japanese, and he's like Kozlov, European of some kind. I don't even know. Spaniel, Spanish. It's an interesting mix. That's why Victor looks as he does, and Elizabeth is. Oh, uh, well, Elizabeth is a. Uh, Nejim? Maximilian Nejim? Hmm. I don't know. <laughs> but she wants to get promoted, so that's this cool, this cool. Uh, she needs some fun. Grandma, let me out. Clean up the bowl. Let Pauline out. There you go. Let's clean this up, too. Um, doing, doing us. This house is just so fun. Maybe we can, um, do some sewing. I think Noriko has time for some sewing. A uh, basic pot holder. Just go ahead and make one. Uh, volunteer. Woo! Giving a bonus. Yes, Elizabeth. Get her done, Elizabeth. Get her done. Hooray! We got a pot holder in our inventory. And we sell it just like that. No, but I think she wants to do gardening of some kind. We do got the train set out here. We got this helicopter out here. Let's operate. I want to try this out before we end this part. So let's give this a go. We just like watch it go around. Is that all we do? Dogs are barking. Okay. Okay, okay, that was fun. Okay, very good. <laughs> That's not for Noriko. That is not for Noriko. Lewis is just like hamming it up. He absolutely adores Pauline. Look at him. <laughs> Every time I look, he's holding her and like just loving her. Oh. Okay, you do need to pee, buddy. So why don't you use the bathroom and then maybe potty train Pauline? Because she needs to use the potty and then needs to go to for a nap nap. Oh my god, bring the child inside. It's raining. Why are you outside? It's raining. Oh my god. There we go. Okay. Hooray. Oh, and Victor got promoted. Good job, Victor. Good job, buddy. You are, you know, living the dream right now. How about you get the mail for us and just pay all the bills? And, yeah, I guess with that, we will go ahead and end this part here. So, if you guys are enjoying the series, please do give the video a fat thumbs up. Subscribe for more, as I put them out fairly regularly. Let me know, uh, Lewis's third wish. Is it long life? Is it wealth? Um, I think it's going to be long life, uh, so that we can spend more time with, you know, our wife and our family. Um... Let me know what you think of uh, Victor, Victor's strategy is for getting another child. Like, is he going to bribe Elizabeth? Is he going to just like, seduce her heavily? Um, I don't know. And do you think Elizabeth will have another child? Do you think she can be persuaded or is it completely off the table? I don't know. And let me know what you'd like Noriko to do. Um, she's still playing with this train set. Um, so obviously she likes this a little bit. <laughs> Um, yeah, do you think she should do some gardening? Um, how do you think she feels after being resurrected from the dead? I think she's a little confused right now. Um, but yeah, if you guys are enjoying the series, please do give this video a fat thumbs up. Subscribe for more as I put them out fairly regularly. I love you guys so very much. I will see you in my next video. Bye, guys.